All right, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is for you if you currently have a job, you're wanting to quit your job and start a business and you're nervous right now. You're nervous, you think that it's gonna take too long to do that or maybe you think um, you can't run a business full time. Uh, you can't train kids full time. Uh, you think that that's impossible to do. And I'm going to give you a very kind of conservative way of looking at this step by step of what to do and how to prepare yourself so you can move into your business full time. And I'm going to break this into three very simple steps. And I'm going to tell you what these are and then I'm going to go into depth on each one. So first, we need to understand financially because everyone's in a different financial situation. You might have a family, you might be single, you might be uh, providing for your wife, you might, uh, your, wife, your wife might already have a job. Your situation is up to you. But what we need to do is we need to write down on a piece of paper, what is the amount of money you're currently making that is fueling your current lifestyle, right? You're able to eat, you're able to live, you're able to pay your bills, yada, 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 all right? We need that on a piece of paper. Once that is down, then what I, the way I look at it is as long as you are like surviving, <laughs> you are paying your bills, you're responsible, you're providing for yourself, your family, whatever it is, then that number that you just wrote down is the number that we need to match before you go full time or it needs to be close to that maybe a little bit less right and what happens is when you know what that number is then you have a realistic target a lot of people start a business with unrealistic expectations and i'll tell you starting a business is not for everyone if that was the case everyone on the planet would have their own business right? Most people just simply are not cut out to have the balls to start a business. Most people aren't. But what most people don't do is they don't, they're not realistic. They're not looking at, all right, in order for me to do this full time, I have to be generating this amount of income. All right. So that's the first thing. The second thing is we need to reverse engineer the process. We need to say, all right, if I need to make $4,000 a month, to leave my job in my business. How many clients do I need in order to, to make that happen? Could I run four $1,000 clinics per month? Like, could I train clients who are paying $500 a month? How many of those clients do I need to make $4,000 a month? All right. That's eight clients. How many, how many hours does that take to uh, train eight clients? All right. Eight hours. Could I do that all on Saturday and Sunday? Yes. Okay. So I could do that plus my, my current job. All right. So there's so many different avenues I could go on how to break down the financial aspect of how to get there. All right. And that's where a lot of people don't think they're not thinking, all right, well, I need to generate $4,000, but I don't know how to do that. All right. But we need to reverse engineer the process. So first we have, the milestone, which is this is the amount that I need to make. Then, all right, we reverse engineer the process. We know exactly how many clients you need to get to that level, all right? Then we set a crystal clear deadline. Again, this is something a lot of people do not like to do because they think that's gonna put too much pressure. But I'm here to tell you, I've talked to too many coaches over the last five, six years who say they're gonna do something and then they don't do it because they don't have a deadline. They don't have a sense of urgency. That's telling me, right? They'd rather have a secure, steady paycheck than jump in. But here's the thing, you don't have to jump in. You can, you can take steps to start your business and generate income while you have another job. And that's a very conservative way of looking at it. I didn't do it that way, I just jumped in. Right. I made it work. Uh, lots of coaches 
that I've consulted with, like some people quit their job 12 months later. Some people quit their job 30 days later. Uh, I've talked to someone who quit their job a day after they started their business and they had zero clients and they made it work. Right? So no one is the same when it comes to that. But if you do those three things, right, you write down the exact amount of money that you're currently making that you need to match before you leave your job, then, then you're not stressing about it because you know that money's coming in, right? Then we reverse engineer the process. Here's how many clients I need in order to generate this amount of income, right? Then from there, we have a crystal clear deadline. That could be a 90 day deadline. That could be a six month deadline. That could be a year deadline. It could be a two year deadline, like, but the deadline is something that you either meet or you fall short. And I can promise you just from experience, helping a lot of coaches now who've quit their jobs that are doing coaching full time, right? If you think to yourself, well, there's no money to be made in personal training or private training or training in sports within basketball, soccer, baseball, football, like guys, I'm telling you in every single sport and every single niche, you can generate income and you can be doing it full time but you have to have the right foundation with your business. That's where I come to play. That's, that's where I help you with. I help you with marketing, I help you with sales, help you with getting your name out there. So you get traction, you start to get clients, right? And when you focus on those three things, if you have a job right now, do those things. If you do that right now, you'll be able to be crystal clear on what you, the outcome is what you want the outcome to be. All right. And I'm gonna give you a quick example. All right. This, this is a very simple way of looking at it. Let's say right now I was working a nine to five job and I make $4,000 a month. All right. I'm just using this number. Let's say I make $4,000 a month. I'm working 40 hours a week or 50 hours a week or overtime. It doesn't matter. And month after month, I get a consistent paycheck. But every morning I wake up and I, I, I have this itch and I'm like, you know what? Like, I know I don't want to spend the rest of my life doing this. And I'm clear about that. Then what I do is I do the first exercise I just taught you. I look at the finances. I see this is how much I'm making. This is how much time I'm spending working. And I write down 4,000. Then the second thing I do is I go, okay, whatever sport I'm in or whatever, however I'm training kids, whatever your method is, right? I'm just going to say, let's say I'm a basketball coach, right? I'm going to say, okay, in order for me to generate $4,000 a month, what can I do? Right? And then I think, all right, well, here's how much time I'm already working nine to five. So like, I'm not going to have a bunch of time to be able to train clients one-on-one. -on -one. All right. So maybe I don't want to do one-on-one. -on -one, all right. So what can I do? How can I maximize my time? All right. Very simple, very easy process. I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to take 4,000. All right. I'm going to pull up my calculator here. So th this way there's zero confusion and this way I'm not wrong. Let me pull this up. Whoops. You can tell this is a non edited video here. <laughs> All right. But I'm going to do this in real time. So you can see the process here. I'm going to take 4,000. All right. Whoops. Divided by, oops, 4,000 divided by 200 equals 20. All right. Now, that took me less than a minute to figure out, and that's because I couldn't open my calculator on my computer while I was shooting this video. 
right? 4,000 divided by 200. So why did I use 200? That's going to be the amount of money that I'm going to charge per month on a subscription basis for clients that join my program. All right? So 20 is the amount of clients I need to join my program. So I take 20 times 200 equals 4,000, 20 clients that are all paying $200 each per month. All right. Then I look at that and I say, okay, great. Because I have a nine to five, I don't have a lot of time. So when could I train these kids? In my head, I would think, all right, I'm just going to do all of this on a Saturday or all of this on a Sunday. And I'm going to set it up to where all of the players show up to one session all at the same time, or I'm going to break it into two groups. And I'm going to have one group that has 10 players, the other group that has 10 players. And I do those sessions back to back. So I'm spending two hours per week and I'm going to be generating $4,000 a month. That's the business model. You don't need to go make a business plan. That's the business model I'm showing you here, All right? So I just did step two, which is I reverse engineer the process. I'm pulling apart. What does $4,000 look like? How many clients do I need and how much do they need to be paying? I need 20 clients. They need to be paying $200 each. And when I get there, I can successfully leave my job. I can smoothly leave my job. I can leave my job without there being any risk. Or guess what? I could keep my job. And instead of making just $4,000 a month, now I'm making $8,000 a month. So I just doubled my income by just working two sessions a week. All right? Which is eight sessions a month. So I, I hope you can see how simplified that is. It's not confusing. All right. Then we go to the deadline. If it were me, and I mean, if you know anything about me, I, I hated working for someone else. Like you can go find my story on YouTube or our podcast, but uh, I hated that. But I know if I was in that position right now, I would set a clear cut deadline. I would give myself, uh, I'd probably give myself six months to gain 20 clients into my program that are all paying $200 a month. I give myself half a year. I'm going to put my head down. I'm going to turn off my phone. I'm going to understand marketing. I'm going to understand sales and I'm going to look at those six months, right? Those six months, if I can simply add, I mean, I'm just breaking down the math here. If I can add a couple of clients, per month into my program, I'm going to be there in under six months, right? Based on this math here, I need about three or four clients per month over the course of six months that, that come into my program. So if we just get one client per week, which is more than what you need to do this, you can successfully leave your job. Now, if you're thinking in your head, well, Ben, I can't charge $200 a month. I don't know how to do that. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think clients would buy that. Well, that's because you haven't started a business yet and, and you don't know how to sell it yet. And you don't think that's possible because you've never done it. And that's, that's a normal way to think. When I started my business, I did sessions for free. It wasn't a business. I had to prove to myself that people wanted to train with me. Then I charged $15 for one-on-one -on -one training for 90 minutes. And most of those clients didn't even pay me. They would try to pay me after, and then I wouldn't even collect their money because they, they were lying to me, all right? Then I started raising my prices. And that came with confidence, that came with experience. But I feel very confident, coaches that, that come into our program if they start at $200 a month with group training, they can absolutely do it. Even if they have very little experience selling. Because it's not about selling. It's about the product. What, what are you producing? What, what, what are we designing for your clients? 
are you a results based business or, or are you just trying to get as many clients as humanly possible? Right. But to recap, okay. We know, we know the number in this case, it was 4,000. We know how many clients we need in this case, it's 20 at 200 a month. And then we have a deadline. It's at six months. I can promise you if you follow that process, and you just don't deviate, you don't get distracted, you don't see YouTube ads and, and go down these, these rabbit holes of other distractions. If you just have a mission and you're disciplined with that, you'll be able to transition from your nine to five job. And I don't care if you're making $20,000 a month in your nine to five job and you hate it and you want to transition, you do the same process I'm talking about. Or if you're making $2,000 a month, it's the same process. You just have to change the numbers. That's it guys. If you want my help to transition and you're sick and tired of your job and you wake up anxious, you wake up and, and you just hate what you're doing. I can assure you, right? I'm the guy who can help you out. I'm very confident about that. And I'm confident because we've already proven results with that, with coaches that we've helped. Um, I mean, right now there's uh, close to 90 coaches that we're helping in our mastermind. We have two different masterminds. We have a mastermind for coaches that are just starting that want to get to a hundred thousand per year. And then we have a secondary mastermind that's for coaches that are doing between a hundred and five hundred thousand dollars per year. So I can assure you, you can do it full time, but it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of discipline. It's going to take a lot of focus. And uh, if you're willing to do those things, I know I'd be a great fit to help you. Shoot me a text at 210-960-5771. Text me today. I'll get back to you today. And uh, I'd love to chat with you to see how I can help. That's it. I'll see you later.